In humans, the main organs responsible for respiration are present in the thoracic cavity. In the thorax region, the rib cage and a dome-shaped fibrous tissue, known as the diaphragm, are observed. Present within the rib cage are the pleural membranes, which enclose the lungs. The right lung is divided into three lobes, the right superior, right middle, and the right inferior lobe. The left lung is smaller and has only two lobes, the left superior and the left inferior lobe. Both the lungs are associated externally with small tubular bronchi, which unite and extend into the trachea. The trachea has incomplete C-shaped rings of cartilage, which prevent the tracheal wall from collapsing. The trachea leads into the pharynx, which is connected to the nostrils. As we breathe in air, the oxygen molecules enter the nostrils and travel downwards through the pharynx and trachea to finally reach the bronchi. From each bronchus, oxygen travels into the lungs. Within the lungs, the bronchus divides repeatedly to form bronchioles. Oxygen travels through these bronchioles and reaches the alveoli, each of which is surrounded by a network of capillaries. A section of one alveolus shows the presence of numerous alveolar chambers with pores. Blood, containing RBCs, is seen flowing through the capillaries. The oxygen molecules from the alveolus diffuse into the capillary and then get absorbed by the bluish-purple RBCs. This causes oxygenation of the RBCs and a transition in their color from bluish-purple to red is observed. The blood moving into the alveolus contains RBCs and carbon dioxide molecules. These molecules are released into the alveolus. The carbon dioxide collects in the alveolar chamber. And then from the alveolus it travels through the bronchioles. Into the bronchus. which finally reaches the trachea and is breathed out through the nostrils. So the process of breathing in air rich in oxygen is called inhalation. After the contraction of the muscular diaphragm, the lungs expand and the air rushes in, resulting in the inflation of the alveoli. During exhalation, the diaphragm moves up and the lungs contract. Thus, the alveoli deflate, causing the air to be forced out. This exhaled air is rich in carbon dioxide. This process of inhalation and exhalation is known as respiration, which is approximately 20 times per minute. 